Hello, this is Chef David Ludwig with the Hotel Culinary Arts and Tourism Institute at Anne Arundel Community College. It's end of the week, uh, time for a nice drink, and uh, my favorite drinking partner here, my wife, Chandra. Hey, how are you? And, uh, you know, she is, you know, really kind of our home bartender and, uh, uh, you know, really puts together a lot of the stuff that we do. What you're going to need, your favorite gin, you will need some... Uh, butterfly pea, pea flower tea syrup. Right. Boy, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so butterfly flower pea is a is a flower. It's a little flower bud, butterfly. and you can order it. Um, the the flower itself, the tea, uh, and it's little flower buds. And then what was the ratio like? One bud. One bud per ounce. Per ounce of water. Um, so just boil up the water and then put it into your glass with however many ounces of water, that many tea buds, uh, and then steeped it for about three or four minutes. And then you get this really, and then of course refrigerate it, this really beautiful, I don't know if the light is showing it, it's a really beautiful blue, like indigo blue um, tea. And then we made it a light syrup. Chef, what's a light syrup? So we've got uh, one part sugar, two parts water. So in this case, our two parts was the tea, um, and then we, uh, so we just had that light sweetness going on with it. We found that a heavy or equal part syrup was way too sweet, at least for my taste. Yeah. Um, so you'll need your gin, you'll need your uh, butterfly flower, pea, butterfly pea flower tea. <laughs> One day I'll get that right. Um, you'll need some citrus, either lemon or lime, either work great. We both kind of lean a little bit towards the lime, but we've done it both ways. Mm -hmm. Did not like the orange as much. Mm -hmm. Try and see what you think. Uh, and then a lavender water and a lavender bitter. Uh, with this recipe, because there's so many things going on that are aromatic, gin is highly aromatic. Um, as we've played with this, we have found that gins that are a little bit more citrus forward or even floral work really nice with this recipe. Gins that are heavy on the juniper um, are a little less, nice just it, it's, it's a difference and it definitely gives you a difference in flavor so if you have a couple of gins in your cabinet it'll be fun to research that and see what you think um so um let's get started right yeah and you were saying uh when we first did this you know we, we've tried a couple different lavender waters and and the, the lavender extract they, they make a big difference depending on which brand you buy absolutely um, we definitely noticed that, and when I was chatting with the, the bartender who made this for us originally, she, they had been through several different lavender waters, several different lavender bitters, and by the time I decided to recreate this, I had forgotten to snap a photo, and she didn't give me the actual recipe, so I'm not exactly sure which one she used. So these were the two that I grabbed. Um, eventually, I'll probably order a couple more and play around with that a bit, um, but those were the ones I was able to readily get. So, I'm going to grab my shaker and add some ice, get us some ice going here. All right. And then we've got our jigger here, little measuring. You've got a one ounce end and a two ounce end. Essentially, it's going to be one part and of your butterfly P P T syrup. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. One part of that. Um, two parts gin. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my little measuring. I'm trying to be good and measure tonight. I usually just uh <laughs> just dump. Two parts of the gin. You can really see the blue now. Yeah. How pretty is that? All right. And then we need, um, so this has got a little, little uh, cap on the end that doesn't let you just pour a bunch out. If you've got one that pours, pour gently. Otherwise, I'm gonna dash in, like just four or five dashes, for good measure, uh, of the lavender water. And then just a couple of drops of the bitters. One, two, three, four, since I'm making two drinks. All right. And then um, 
All of that goes into our shaker, top down. Got a good seal, we hope. And then shake. <laughs> and you want to give it a good shake. I can't remember if she shaked, if she did a shake or if she did a, uh, a stir. I like to shake. Gives a nice cold, frothy kind of a drink. All right, so let's prepare our glasses here. I'm gonna use lime. I'm just gonna dump these. I've, we've chilled them. So we've got nice cold glasses. I'm just gonna dump this ice back out. So we prepared those that way. And I'm gonna do, I want a little bit of a zest. So what I'm gonna do is just shave off as much as I, try to not get a lot of pith, right? Just shave out a little bit of uh, zest. zest here. And I'm gonna hold for just a minute. I'll need two of those. Oh, the smell of fresh lime. I love the smell of fresh lime. One of my favorite things. All right, so we've got that there. Two nice little zest there. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut my lime because we need just a little bit of citrus here in the glass. And what I'm gonna do is just take this wedge and squeeze just a little citrus into the glass for each one. Woo, that took a nice spritz. There we go. Get that down out of the way. And then now we've got our drink. And you can see how beautiful and blue that is, right? So we all know lavender is purple. That's right. Break the seal on my, there it is. <laughs> drink here. And here we go. A little pour. There's the magic. Right there. So I when love they, a little whimsy. Yeah, when the acids react with the uh, butterfly PT, Hang on. you get this beautiful color. And then lastly, just a little spritz of the oils right across the surface there. And then we'll just drop in our little garnish. Cheers.